We are at the Lakewood Speedway for the 39th race of Season 3 of the SCRL Grand National Series. The number 22 of Chris Kyle will be leading us to the green flag. So beside him is the number 3 of Sebastian Torres. The rest of the starting lineup here for today's race. All 42 drivers, uh, full and part-time drivers, are here. Entering this race, Chase Abbott has a 27-point lead over Brent James. Chase Abbott will be starting in the sixth position. Brent James will be starting all the way back in the 39th position. Of course, the Lakewood Speedway, 1.011 mile oval. We This is the second time we are racing here at Lakewood, I believe, or this is the first time officially. Yes, yeah, officially the first time we are racing here at Lakewood. We have used this track before, but not actually at this event. With three races to go, after, well, two after this one, we have four drivers that can still win the championship. Chase Abbott, Brent James, Sebastian Torres, and Colo Ash. Colo Ash will be starting back in the 36th position. He is the farthest behind at 131. And now for those most famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines. So as I mentioned before, four drivers can still mathematically win the championship with each of the remaining three events. Scoring 50 points each round, so the maximum amount of points you can gain is 150. So potentially after this round, we could have a driver eliminated. If, our, if they leave here minus 150. Of course, in the next two rounds, you can only gain 100 points, so... If you are more than 100 points behind after this round, you cannot win the championship. Sebastian Torres, who is starting second place. He has won his last two races he appeared in at March Banks and North Wilkesboro. He has cut his lead down from 197 to 72. So he still has a chance. But don't count out Chris Kyle starting on the inside line. He has never scored a win here in the Grand National Series. Don't forget the yellow drivers behind them also are looking to try and end their season on a high note. Reach up there and pull them belts tied one more time. We are racing 10 laps here at the One Mile Lakewood Speedway. Chris Kyle, Sebastian Torres, row number one. And Chris Kyle will lead us to green. Off towards turn number one. Who's going to get the run on the high side? Looks like it'll be Sebastian Torres, but Chris Kyle's fighting back on the inside line. And Sebastian clear off turn number two. He's being pushed by Ty Westner, but Chris Kyle's fighting back on the inside line. Ty Westner has cleared the 12 car, Memphis Fisher. Sebastian's still on the high side. Can he clear off turn number four? Chris Kyle slides up the track just a little bit to try and prevent him from passing him. It's a drag race. Leading lap number one will be Chris Kyle. But the high line prevails right there in turn number one. Sebastian clears. That is so dangerous to let Sebastian Torres get around you because just like Kristen Russell in the last round, once Sebastian Torres gets there, he is so hard to pass. There you see our points leader, Chase Abbott, currently in the fifth position. He needs to stay up there if he doesn't want Sebastian Torres to pull away. Remember, he entered this race with a 27-point lead over Brent James, but he is only 72 up on Sebastian Torres. Oh, we got a caution. Whoa, looks like the 92 of Andrew James. Oh, championship contender, Brent James, second in points. Of course, you see no damage on that car because there's no damage model, but he was involved. And it looks like we are racing it back. Sebastian Torres, the only car. Of course, he's going to have to slow down once he gets to the start finish line. Not the final turn. Sebastian Torres will officially take the caution flag here on lap number three. 
Well, we'll take a look and see what brought out the first caution of the day. Here's the cause of caution. Brent James racing with the 92 of Roger James and the number 7 of John Alabama. Let's see what happens. Looks like... Contact between the 7 comes down the track right into the 89. 89 goes down on the 92. They lock fenders. And, oh boy. Heading into the wall. Andrew James hard. Head on. And to that concrete wall, you see the 7 almost tipping up into the air. And our championship contender, second in points, Brent James, is involved in an accident. He was already outside of the point scoring position. And now he gets caught up in a wreck with his family member, Andrew James. You see right there, contact with the 7 and to the 92. And poor Andrew James, nowhere to go. He's going to go head on. <sighs> hard into the outside concrete wall. Hopefully that driver is okay. He was able to drive it back around. But huge impact. And championship implications here at Lakewood Speedway. Well, we'll clean this mess up here in turn number four. And once you do, we'll take you back to the restart. of the Gorilla with Barbara Payton, Lon Chaney, Raymond Burr, and Tom Conway. The dramatic story of a strange curse that brought terror to a man and frenzy to a woman in love. Don't go away. You do love me, don't you? That's all I need to know. We are standing in my way and Dina's. We love each other. What are you going to do about it? Did you see this animal? Yes, I have seen the animal. It walks in his hind legs. Like a man? No, like a beast that walks like a man. Oh, let's go back, Bonnie, please. I'll never go back. Never. Stop. Go on. Why don't you shoot? You can't miss. We are back. We're going to get this race restarted with three laps to go. No one is out of the race. We still have all 42 cars still in this race. Sebastian Torres is our race leader. Second is Chris Kyle. Third is Ty Westerner. Fourth, Chase Abbott. Fifth, Memphis Fisher. Sixth, Josh Barker. Seventh, Jack Jett. Eighth, Britt Davison. Ninth, Kristen Russell. And tenth is Allison Marley. Last driver to score points as of right now is the 100 car of Jeff Stott. So Chase Abbott is in fourth position right now. Brent James, second in points, 40th. Sebastian Torres, third in points, first. Koo Ash, fourth in points, currently 36th. So three laps to go. Sebastian Torres, he needs to win to keep his championship hopes alive. Chase Abbott needs Sebastian Torres to not win to keep his championship hopes alive as well. And in between them is Chris Kyle and Ty Westner. Three laps to go. If we get another caution, the race will be over. Can Sebastian Torres hold off a field of 41 other drivers to win three in a row? There's a green flag. You saw Chris Kyle. He was ready to go. No pass before you get to the start finish line. Now you can. Off into turn one. Sebastian goes a little bit wide. He's going to try and make this, the track as huge as possible to try and block. You see Chase Abbey, he's trying to defend against Memphis Fisher. Sebastian Torres already has a one car length lead off into turn number three. Into turn number four. You see Ty Westner goes wide a little bit. Keeping an eye on the caution. 
two laps to go. Sebastian Torres trying to defend his championship for the past two seasons. Chris Kyle trying to win for the first time in his career. Battle for third. This will be worth five points for Chase Abbey if he can get around Ty Westerner. Not able to just yet. Chris Kyle has closed in on Sebastian Torres. It looks like it's going to be a two-car race. And the turn number four. White flag, one lap to go. Can Sebastian Torres make it back? Chris Kyle drives it off into turn number one. He's got to do whatever he can to get around them. He scraped the wall right there. You saw the sparks. Into turn number two. Chris Kyle's going to try and have a run. He's being pushed by Ty Westner. And Sebastian Torres a sitting duck as he enter turn number three for the final time. And to turn number four. Doesn't look like Chris Kyle's going to be able to catch him off the final turn. Sebastian Torres. He's going to score yet another win. He wins the inaugural race here at Lakewood Speedway as Chase Abbott finishes fourth. So in his last three starts, Sebastian Torres has found victory lane once again and keeps his championship hopes alive with two races to go. Here he races. Oh, Sebastian Torres scores yet another win here at Lakewood Speedway. Second, Chris Kyle so close to getting that first Grand National Series win. Third, Ty Wessner. Fourth, Chase Abbott, our points leader. He gains valuable points. Fifth, Memphis Fisher. Sixth, Josh Barker. Seventh, Jack Jett. Eighth, Brad Davison. Ninth, Kristen Russell. And tenth, Allison Marley. Last hour to score points if Jeff Stott. Cole O'Ash finishes 35th. Britt James finishes 40th. Neither driver scores points. So we had two of the four drivers score points. Andrew James finishes last. We had all 42 drivers finish the race on lead lap. Well, that is it here for round number 39 here at Lakewood Speedway. We'll take you to victory lane for the third time in the last four races with the number three car of Sebastian Torres. Here are the points. Standing is after the 39th race of the season at Lakewood. Chase Abbott's lead has once again fallen. It's actually, it actually grew just a little bit. It is now 57 points, but it's now over Sebastian Torres, who won for the fourth time, the third time in the last three races. Brent James lost second in points. He is now 62 points behind. Fourth, Koa Ash won 66 points behind. And fifth, Boston Austin won 86 points behind. Due to... Koo Ash not finishing in the points, and they only you can only gain 100 points in the next two rounds. Koo Ash has been mathematically eliminated from the championship, so we only have three drivers that can still win the title with two races to go: Chase Abbott, Sebastian Torres, and Brent James. Rest of the point standings. We will next see you for round number 40 at the Carroll Speedway, and until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track. <laughs>